In this video, I'm gonna be sharing with you one of the most tried and true route combinations out of the Gun Bunch formation in Madden 23. Now this concept has been good for as long as I've been playing Madden, and it's actually a very simple concept that if you master it, will take your bunch offense, I believe, to the next level. Now, uh, the player we're gonna be taking a look at today is Verticals. If you wanna get my entire Gun Bunch offensive ebook, make sure to join the Patreon. It's only $10 to become a member. It'll get you access to all of our Madden 23 offensive and defensive eBooks. We've got several different versions of the Gun Bunch broken down in the Patreon. Uh, but again, today we're taking a look at the play Verticals. You could do this from any play in Bunch, uh, but I do believe Verticals is kind of like, it's one of those plays that's in every single bunch. And so that's why we're choosing that play or this specific play. Uh, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna block our running back. We're gonna leave this solo receiver on a streak. If he's on a fade, I do like to have him on a streak, but you can leave him on a fade. It'll be, it'll be okay. Um, and then on the right side of the field, what we're gonna do is we're gonna drag our tight end. We're gonna slant our outside bunch receiver and we're gonna motion him outside and snap just before he sets. Now the first read on this play is going to be the tight end. And the tight end is really the route that I think a lot of people uh, just forget about from year over year. It doesn't matter what Madden it is. A lot of people just don't like to defend this tight end drag. And so um, this tight end drag, it really can get you, you know, 10 to 15 yards plus every single time over the middle of the field. And so what this does uh, to the defense is it now requires them to uh, basically have some type of hard flat over on the right side of the screen, right? Or on the on the left side of the screen. Now we know that bunch is really, really, really good at flooding the bunch side, but what this setup does is it floods the solo side and it forces them into uh, different coverage adjustments over on that sideline. So if they do have a hard flat over there on the left side, then we wanna to look to this crosser over the middle of the field. This crosser has been good for years and I wanna show you something that's kind of neat about it. If I was on, uh, if my bunch was on the short side of the field, this crosser is gonna run super, super deep. So let's say for example, that maybe they do an adjustment like this on the left side uh, to try to take away the C route. Maybe they roll a, a safety to the middle of the field or whatever. Um, the beauty of this is, let's say that they have to go take that tight end as he drags across. This crosser, they might think will get guarded by this deep cloud route or cloud flat, but what you'll see here is you could throw that up and over the top. Now, if you look at how far that crosser runs, uh, specifically, I'll jump into a, a cover two coverage and we'll showcase it uh, specifically against cover two just again. And the idea here is that you do have some time in the pocket, uh, which is why you're blocking your running back. Typically, you don't need to throw the crosser because you'll have the other routes open against any kind of pressure. Uh, but what you'll see here is freeform that down and outside. And as you can see, it kind of gets it into this really soft spot um, against the defense. Now, if they do have deep out zone knockout abilities, which actually a lot of people are kind of running deep out zone knockouts. Uh, but if you look at this, I'm on the 30 yard line. It's about 20 yards to the 50. This is literally about a 50 yard crossing route. Um, and again here, we're just gonna throw this hard outside pass lead, click on, and you see how I can catch that typically in front of the KO. So. The point is, because you have a clear out on the left side that's going to really cleanly clear out any deep blue, it doesn't matter if it's a cover four, it doesn't matter if it's a cover three, it, does, it doesn't matter what it is. It's basically like having a super deep corner route or crosser route uh, from this bunch side. And then and now, as long as you have time in the pocket, you can throw this. You just wanna ag this before the KO can get there, as you can see right there. So it literally beats every single zone in the game. And I'll prove it to you real quick. I'm gonna throw my zone drops onto 30. Uh, most people don't run 30 yard zone drops in this year's game, uh, just because of the pressure, which I'll cover the pressure and how to deal with pressure in just a second. But if they are running these 30 yard clouds on the outside, this is one of the best routes in the game uh, for attacking that. And they literally just have to, they have to, to, um, user this crossing route and that's really what makes this place so good uh, is because they have to use the crosser it's going to open up other stuff uh, such as your drag or your slant but as you see right here that 30 yard cloud really doesn't have a chance to get there and you can just possess possession catch that and uh, toe tap it all day long and it's really best ran with your bunch of the short side of the field now you might be asking as i am you know what do i do what do I do if they're gonna blitz me? Uh, so if they blitz you, number one, your running back's blocking. So you should be able to pick up pretty much every blitz this year with a blocked running back, just slide ID opposite, or you know, there's some other protections and stuff, but you know, really just slide an ID. 
Now on this, uh, and then what you'll see here is number one, your first read should be wide open. Your drag, your tight end drag route should be a very consistent route that you can throw over the middle of the field. And that tight end can be a drag, it could be an in, it could be a slant, it doesn't really matter. Um, it could be any of those routes. Now, you might be saying, well, okay, but what if, for example, right, like what if they, uh, you know, put this guy in a purple, let's just say they have like a, a hard flat and a, and a third, right? And then let's say they're, they're maybe rolling their coverage so it looks something like this, right? And they're gonna be in the middle of the field so they can take the tight end because they're gonna have flat protection over there on the right side, right? Well, what you'll notice about this year's game, and really this has been kind of true of Madden for years, is the fact of the matter is they can't use or everything coming over the middle of their field. You can throw this crosser into this little pocket. Um, I need to cut that off a little bit better, but you can throw this the, the crosser over the middle. Um, there is a little bit of a window uh, to throw to throw the crosser. The other thing is, number one, again, remember, we're blocking a running back here. So you should pick up the pressure uh, for at least a second. It should give you a little bit of time. And then the beauty of this is now I can throw, and of course, as I say that I get bagged, but you see the crosser was wide open. I can throw the crosser. And then the other thing that I have on this play is I have this backside slant, which again, typically if they're playing hard flats, um, you should be fine at being able to throw that. So, you know, they're going to be in the middle of the field, of course, but realistically, you should be able to at least, at least delay the blitz long enough to be able to get that crosser open in the middle of the field. And so you can throw that like right in that little pocket right in there. And of course, if I get KO'd one more time, I'm going to throw my control. <laughs> but, but anyway, you see the idea. And again, it's a little easier, obviously the user, right? The user's probably not going to be on a, you know, he, he's probably going to have to lurk the crosser uh, or lurk the drag and then go back, right? He's going to have to, you know, do his own stuff. And so, you know, again, provided that you're able to pick this up and just give yourself just a second or two, you should be able to throw this right there, ag it away from the KO, okay? So that way you don't have to deal with that, that animation like that. Uh, but anyway, so now they have to basically take all of the crosser, right? They really have to, to commit their user uh, to defending the crosser. And so the beauty of this route combo, how, as simple as it is, the beauty of the route combo is, number one, they you could, you have a snap read. Your snap read is your tight end drag. So you're looking to your fade, and then you're looking to your drag, and then you can wait backside, and you can basically throw this slant against pretty much any coverage in the game. That backside slant is going to get wide open. So this is truly one of the best plays in the the entire game it'll be max coverage defense really easily it'll also do a really good job against any kind of sin five pressure because you are blocking your running back and the way the routes work it makes it super super hard because they get over every zone drop and then you also have a backside slant that gets underneath a lot of different zones so anyways i want to thank you for watching the video if you want to get my entire gun bunch offensive ebook or if you just want to take your Madden game to the next level join the patreon ten dollars get you access to all of our man ebooks and updates and i guarantee that it'll help you take your game to the next level so thanks for watching the video and if you want to sign up for the patreon head down to the description below and uh, click the link down below